Hello, I'm Cambridge Mayor Catherine McGarry. Seniors living at home across Cambridge count on Meals on Wheels to provide them with healthy food and some conversation. During the COVID-19 pandemic, it's an even more important service that are offered by dedicated volunteers. Today, I'm really pleased to be joined by Rosalind Horn from Community Support Connections, which runs Meals on Wheels programs across Waterloo Region. Hello, Rosalind, thanks so much for joining me today. Hi, thanks so much for having us. I really appreciate being on here. So to start off, what's happened to Meals on Wheels deliveries over the last three months as the COVID-19 pandemic arrived in Cambridge? Um, back in March, we actually um, gave ourselves a week or two where we temporarily closed down our kitchen and did bulk deliveries of our frozen meals to our Meals on Wheels clients to get them through that period. And that week or so allowed us to develop new no contact training protocols um, that we then had to train our existing volunteers to make sure they were delivering in a safe manner. Um, we're no longer able to go into a client's home and um, do the same kinds of things we would have previously. So at the same time, we had a number of our volunteers who are primarily seniors themselves as they were tired and therefore available over lunchtime who were unable or not comfortable delivering throughout the pandemic. So with about 150 um, routes in Waterloo Region each week, we only had about 10 or 15 of our pre-COVID uh, volunteers that were still able to help us deliver through that. So it was quite a significant gap that we had to really um, kind of handle just in the first couple of weeks of the pandemic to start off. What is the scale of uh, Meals on Wheels operations in Cambridge and how many uh, people at home, including seniors, do you help? For Cambridge specifically, we have um, about six Meals on, or sorry, eight Meals on Wheels groups and we have about 70 clients each day. Um, I've been out to deliver, so I, I know mm -hmm. how much work you do, but if you were to come up with sort of the biggest challenge for Meals on Wheels during this pandemic, what do you think that might be? Oh, it's hard to pick one, I would say. I think just being able to respond quickly, the support and the response that we've received from the community has been absolutely amazing. We mm -hmm. saw our partners in the media at first when we realized we needed dozens more volunteers very quickly to temporarily or permanently fill in for our older volunteers who were not, no longer able to help. But we've been overwhelmed with the response from new volunteers and over half of them are actually interested in staying on with us longer term. They just didn't realize there was a need for the program. It's overwhelming to see people paying attention to seniors, caring for seniors and really getting the opportunity to understand the difference that the service makes. Well, you really speak to how caring and compassionate Cambridge residents are, but that's an incredible story. Um, in thinking back over the last three months and considering where you are, what's been the biggest surprise to you? I think for me, the biggest surprise was honestly that response from the number of volunteer applicants that we saw with people who aren't normally looking at us, aren't normally paying attention to us. That for me was so heartwarming. It's very emotional for me. This is an organization I'm extremely passionate about. So um, we're really fortunate to be able to use the spotlight that is on seniors right now to engage more people in our organization and in our cause. We're primarily serving seniors. Um, we have 16 clients over the age of 100 who are in their own homes thanks to our volunteers and thanks to the services that we're helping to provide. But we really, provide services to anyone who's over 18 that needs the help to stay in their own home. So it might be cognitive issues, it may be living with different um, mental health issues, there could be any number of contributing factors, but if they need the help to stay in their home, we hope to be able to provide it to them. So It's really inspiring and uh, an incredible story, really and truly, and food security is so very important. So I know you've said it a lot, but what is the best way that Cambridge residents can help Meals on Wheels to help uh, seniors and vulnerable to get their meals at home? Sure, so people can look at our website, communitysupportconnections.org, and either go to the, we have a get involved section. So if people are looking at making a donation or if people are looking at applying for one of our volunteer positions as more of them open up over the next few weeks and months. And one thing I would say as well is to tell your neighbors, tell someone else about our Meals on Wheels. 
we have our own kitchen, we have our own garden that you've seen in uh, out in Breslau where we're kind of central in the, in the region. We really want people to take advantage of the service before they get to a state where they may be too frail or unable to cook for themselves. If more people can access the service to um, you know, improve their health and quality of life as a more preventative action. We'd love to get more people accessing either our hot meals on meals or our new uh, frozen meals on meals line that uh, provides a bit more flexibility too. Wonderful. Well, what a great story. I really thank you for uh, joining me today to tell our community more about Meals on Wheels at the Community Support Connections. 